Hello friends, welcome to Data Pandit. Today we are going to talk about uh, one of the basic simple example of continuous flow graph. We have um, a couple, uh, some time, but some time having discussion uh, regarding continuous flow components and uh, how the company uh, component uh, in the continuous flow works. Uh, basically, uh, the subscriber component and the publisher component, publish component basically. We did not talk about uh, other components as of now. Uh, before that, uh, we are going to go with specific uh, external Q component. Let's uh, talk about one of the basic uh, uh, example of continuous flow graph, wherein uh, we will understand how a different uh, you know records of travels from uh, one end to another, uh, from the subscriber component to the published component. Okay. And uh, the internal, uh, the in between mechanism would uh, mostly remain same with respect to the particular uh, functioning of her, you know components. But uh, there are few additional uh, works needs to be done as part of uh, continuous flow graph uh, to you know, the first to recover the graph when failure happens and how the propagation of uh, checkpoint happens in a continuous flow graph because the checkpoint thing uh, and compute point things is different uh, from here in a continuous flow graph than in batch graphs so in batch graph we have you know static uh, place you know, you know wherein uh, we uh, we establish the checkpoint and phases and then you know those those uh, whenever the failure happens then the nearest checkpoint which has been processed uh, that the things will fall on that and recovery happens okay but here in uh, continuous flow graph the segment propagates from one component to another okay and uh, whenever the component uh, finishes its processing for a particular uh, unit of work the recovery files or the working files would be written to the disk so that whenever any failure happens then the recovery could be done now let's talk about uh, this scenario let's understand uh, the first stage of it so the thing is uh, like uh, uh, this is a small mechanism of uh, of a continuous flow graph wherein the subscriber component then the reformat component subscribe is, is going to consume the data flow from the streaming uh, let's say there is, there is a streaming happening and uh, early basis there are different set of records are coming in or maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe some uh, half an hour or 10 minutes basis probably so let's assume that we are getting uh, different data hourly basis from the one stream okay <clears throat> then there are we are reformatting the data and uh, there is a multi there is a count two in the reformat uh, so that it can produce the two streams, right? And uh, the reformat, uh, you know, we can configure it, uh, you know, and output indexes, and we can produce the two outputs, right? That we know already. Now, then there is a roll-up component, and then the uh, output of roll-up and the one of the output of reformat are going to the join component, and then finally to the publish component. Let's say and we can also publish the logs as well so therefore this uh, log is also connected to the one of the publisher publisher component right so this is whole and sole uh, small mechanism of uh, you know the mechanics of uh, these components you know connected to each other uh, and uh, this is a basic uh, continuous flow graph let's say <clears throat> now let's uh, start what happens is uh, let's say we have a we have a checkpoint. Uh, so what we know when we configure the sub subscriber component is uh, uh, depending upon the checkpoint trigger, right? So the check depending upon the checkpoint trigger, we can produce uh, you know, the checkpoints. So let's say we are producing the checkpoint uh, on uh, time interval. The checkpoint trigger is a time interval, and that is one hour. For one hour, there is a let's say it's a movie streaming, right? From a from a let's say one cinema. And they are they are screening the one, first one movie on uh, 
for one hour and then another movie from next one hour like like that this is streaming is we are we are uh, consuming the streaming of the data from um, from the streaming of one multimedia movies or something like that right therefore we have configured the subscriber component as a one hour for a single hour there will be a you know uh, the records coming in from uh, related to let's say one movie right zero one two let's say we got the three records in first hour right, right? So we are taking the small small number of records uh, because it's just an example. In reality, there could be a you know multitude of records, right? Now, so subscriber is going to consume uh, because uh, we have set up uh, the hourly and first hour we got the record zero and two, and then uh, subscriber is going to read those record and after reading those record, subscriber is you know going to uh, propagate the set point. To the reformat component, right? And then uh, the 0, 1, 2 and component, you know, would be processed by reformat, reformat using the transform 1 for the output 1 and for the output 2 from the transform 2. Okay. So there are, you know, there are uh, diff process uh, happening in reformat which are producing the two output, right? And then the output is going to travel to the Roll-up component, and here in, uh, in the in the below below flow, there are uh, you know still records are going, going on to the flow. So what is uh, what is the point is uh, after processing the reform reformat component has you know processed all the record for a you know certain checkpoint because checkpoint information has been received by the reformat component from the subscriber component, and after zero one two has been passed from the reformat component in on both output flow, the you know, information related to the recovery will be written onto the disk over here from by the reformat component, okay, for the first segment, okay. Now, now and uh, in the second stage, so, so let's say uh, roll-up is started functioning, uh, right, 0, 1, 2, and record is started doing our, its operation, okay, and uh, still, uh, because the join mode wait for uh, you know input from the first flow and the second flow, right? So therefore join is waiting and uh, zero one two in the below flow are on the flow. Okay, the data is on the flow now. In the second stage, so subscriber is not doing anything; it is waiting for it, right? Uh, because the 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 first uh, you know unit of work is in process, and the reformat is doing as well the same thing, and uh, now. Let's assume that uh, you know. Uh, so after processing the roll-up component, right? So roll-up has you know. Let's say we have adding the records. We are summing up zero, one, and two. So it becomes three, and three would be passed to the join component, and uh, and uh, the the below flow zero, you know, the zero has been you know appended to the zero, and three would be uh, under process by the join component, and roll-up has finished its work. Okay. So as soon as the roll up uh, it finishes its process, you know, then the the recovery files and the you know working files would be stored into the disk. Therefore, uh, you know, recovery can happen in event of failure. So the the related uh, files would be uh, you know stored into the disk uh, by the roll up component. Okay. Now and. Uh, so let's assume that a join is under process and join is processing the first record from both the flows and uh, one and two are still waiting, uh, right? Okay. And uh, then there is a third stage. In the third set, what is happening is uh, join is, uh, you know, producing the output three, zero, three, one, and three, two. And uh, this is uh, also processed zero, one, and two, right? Zero, one, two, right? This two is also getting processed and it's mostly has produced. Okay, so after after join process everything, right? So this is also you know um, if you look at the fourth stage, if join completes, right? So it it completes its uh, process, then join will be also writing the you know respective you know recovery file or respective working file to the disk. Therefore, in the event of failure, recovery could happen. Now and uh, 
in the let's say i did not draw the, the stage actually so let's assume that the join has been finished and it's written the thing, uh, data to the disk and it's propagated to the, say, the next component the checkpoint has been propagated to the next component which is published in in the and in the log end and the output end okay and uh, the records are under uh, under uh, you know under uh, consideration by the published component and uh, and the respective logs are probably under consideration by the log published component okay now so what we have done is uh, we have processed everything and uh, what publisher has to do is the publisher is going to publish the record for a uh, first checkpoint so after it's processed this, uh, you know, um, check uh, uh, all the record 303132 uh, to the, uh, to the uh, you know, queue. So, okay. So, let's say it's processed the queue. After processing, what it does is, is it also writes the, you know, recovery files and uh, respective working files to the disk. And uh, so, as is the log public, uh, log published component. So, both this, this component, uh, published component and log published component also writes the data to the disk so that in the event of failure recovery could happen okay so what happens at the end so after publishing all the records it commits it commits that uh, you know uh, that 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 uh, generation of the record right and it says that uh, the, the the set of unit you know, of work which has been processed is available for uh, you know consuming okay it marks the end of it and also it instructs some instruction to the subscriber is subscriber is what this subscriber it, it is going to instruct to the this subscriber that i have read it and you start the next checkpoint yeah next unit of work you can start meaning you can start the record you know three four and whatever the record which are coming under the second hour or yeah, maybe second unit of work so this is going to happen okay so if so the point is uh, the propagation of the checkpoint happens from the subscriber to the published component and then published component has to instruct to the subscriber that i have done my job this unit of work has been finished now you can consider the num next you know uh, next set of next unit of work okay and also uh, every component has to write the, the file to the disk so that the respective you know the recovery can happen right so so what happens is if let's say failure happens then join has to replay its you know everything for a particular you know particular unit of work replay in the sense of the joining things and how it's going to join how how the global variable within the component and the local variable within the component are getting assigned you know so these sequence of executions are getting stored into the disk and join is going to replay at event of failure, right? When recovery happens for a last completed checkpoint. So, so this, this uh, you know, also uh, the recovery part is going to happen based on the failure. Okay, thank you so much uh, for watching. Please subscribe my channel and we are going to go ahead with uh, many more things. Uh, okay. So, okay, thanks so much.